Hi guys, it's Arsenal Robert here, bringing you the second promised episode for today. I try to make this one a little bit longer for you guys as well. This will have a bit of everything, including sugar beet planting. Finally, once and for all, maybe even a bit of harvesting. Wait, we need to try to do this properly. I'm driving into first person mode just because it is, I don't know, a little bit more interesting, especially when we're bailing, although we do get to miss it. Oh, wait, let's put it back onto cruise control. But we do get to miss out to when it poops the bales out, which is, to be honest, the most exciting bit. Here we go, it's about to come as well. So I've got these massive rows to do, which is going to be great fun. I left a little bit to wither away over on that side of the field as well, so I did a bit of a boo-boo. And we have to do all of this manually. On the other field, I do have a cultivator working hard away, who's a hired worker. Uh, unfortunately, none of the cedars that seed either corn or potatoes or sugar beets they don't cultivate so we have to cultivate ourselves so that's why I'm doing that uh, right over here we're bailing this and to be honest both of our massive fields will be sugar beets so it's going to take us quite a while to get both of them ready so I don't think I'll be actually growing it out on second thoughts yeah I won't be growing in out sugar beets this episode but if you look down on the bottom right, we have a ridiculous amount of money. I went ahead and sold all of my wheat, uh, almost all of my... Actually, let's just... We can actually see. What do we have? Statistics, and we'll go to... Oh, wait. I won't pass it again. There we go. So we've got lots of potatoes and a little bit of wheat left over. Okay, so it's not too bad. And then I sold the rest of the barley, canola, and corn. So we don't really have much left to linger about. I'm not really going to be bothering to sell anything either because it's pretty unnecessary. The one thing that I am worried about, however, is trying to tell apart uh, my potato harvester and my sugar beet harvester because I could imagine they'd look almost exactly the same. But let's just pause this guy for a bit and we'll go over to... Maybe let's buy a massive cultivator as well. This is 7.8 meters. That could be quite decent. Okay, maybe I'll give that a shot a little bit later on, though. Uh, we'll go to tractors first up. I'll get that big one that I was talking about. We could also get a front loader maybe a little bit later on. The Schluter Super... <laughs> Schluter. It's just a funny word. It's like Schwinkter. Schluter. Super Track 2500 VL. $139,000. In 1981, a new series under the motto Save Energy at a High Level was built. The so-called Supertrack 2500 VL with 240 horsepower was born. 240 horsepower, how much does this one have? 262, wow. This one's got a crap load. And wh why does this one cost so much? It's a 6 diesel engine. It's a very economical, though, I guess. Yeah, I could imagine this just chugs through the petrol. Or the fuel, which is diesel. Uh, and it's $370 a day to keep up. But I could imagine it looks quite cool. So we'll buy that one. We own that. Very nice. We'll go ahead and buy the potato harvester right now. Potato beet harvester. Just so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay, we've got $130,000 left. I don't need a new harvester. Okay, so let's go check this out. Oh, we're close. But no cigar. A uh, Dutes Agro Farm 430 with front loader. Excuse the way I say Dutes, I'll always continually mess it up. But yeah, I definitely want to invest in that. We're very, very close to it. Let's no, let's have a check of our new toys. Oh wow, this is it. That is definitely a behemoth. I actually like this a lot. It's got also like a different coloured set of wheels, different tyres. Drives quite quickly. Quickly. It seems like it'll be just as good to drive over people. Yep. It's almost like a handles like a golf buggy almost. But I could imagine it just weighs ten times heavier. Probably more. So we'll get this guy to start sowing the sugar beets over here where the cultivator's working. Where is he? Is that him? Yeah, that is him all the way over there. In between the tree. Okay. And so the sugar beet planter, cedar, whatever you want to call it, is, it's not that one, it's this one. 
They look the same, the Amazon and the Kayanas, and they're also similar. Okay, so I think, I'm pretty sure this is the way we put it on. Yep. Okay, and we'll go ahead and choose sugar beets, which look like, a bit like carrots. And we'll fill this up over here. I just want to fill it up. Let's fill it all up. Jesus, this, does, this doesn't hold much at all. Thankfully, our worker does his own thing. So, I think that these just grow out just the same as every other crop. Potatoes are just the hard crop that takes five stages to grow out, whereas everything else takes four stages to grow out. So, I think that is the case. I hope it is. So, let's start unfolding this. It's so small. It's going to take us forever. Well, I reckon it will take us about 40 minutes just to get onto the other side. Okay. And have I done everything I needed to? Yep. We've left a little bit, uh, the cultivator missed out a little bit, but okay. Okay, so off we go with the sugar beets. How exciting. And clearly it's not costing as much to sow as the potatoes. So the potatoes are just the really hard crop. And this is what the sugar beet harvester looks like. A bit different. I like the color scheme to it. Black and red, like a matte type of black. Looks nice. It's sort of like computer parts these days. Computer parts just look like more like artwork. It's like computer porn almost. It's just like... They, they're not there to, for function. They, they don't look like they're really powerful, but they're really powerful, these computer parts, like graphics cards these days. They cost so much, but they look damn neat as well. So anyway, we're going to just set you up just over here because we don't really need you right now. I haven't done any missions in ages as well. They're pretty unnecessary at least. Okay, so let's just tab back and forth to this guy, see how he's doing. I want to go check out what type of cultivators we have. Okay, so we've got this one, which is 7.5, this is 7.8, okay. So I'll buy the, probably this, oh actually no way. But I need to go ahead and use my cultivator on this field, but first we will need to use the baler to bale everything. And then we'll need to go ahead and use the auto baler, or whatever it's called, like it's the automated, I don't know, put on your tractor baling machine. Which is, which is probably the most fun out of all this. I love that. Oh, wow. We're only down to 43 litres. Pity. This is a nice tractor, though, as well. Especially the interior. I love the interior. Okay. Take it really sharply. It's a lot easier to just to be able to know where to drive. As well, if you go in first-person mode. Just line it up with the barrel and off you go. So from now on, I will be doing this field lengthways like this. Instead of like what I did further on. Which is, I'll call it widthways. It takes too many lines, so yeah. And to be honest, I don't even need all these bales. Baling costs pretty much... Not, well, it doesn't cost anything. It just uh, sells for very little. It's not really the best investment bales. They're much better invested into putting into your cow's mouth. Instead of all this, I think I'm just going to leave it at this. I just want to make sure that we have one like auto baling machine done and that's it. So I'll leave it at this because our cultivator should be done soon. I'll tell him to start cultivating this. Because that's going to take him a little while. Actually, he could... You know what? Let's go check up on him. All these vehicles. Imagine, like... Because my goal is to have every field in this map. And just sow every field and then speed things up so they all grow out at the same time. And then we turn all our harvesters on at the same time and just harvest all fields at the same time. That is my goal. So everything works at the same time. 
That'd be really, really cool. Ashloose is doing a good job. Let's go in first person mode. Check it out. That can't be good to breathe in. Smoke. Amazon. It's like a guy in a, it is. It's a guy and a horse with a bow and arrow. Cool. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to mean with Amazon. But I guess that is the company's logo. Unless they're doing this unlicensed and just made any random picture. The Maxtron. We should put it right next to you know what I'll do? I'll do this. Get a vehicle selection. Do that, do that, do that. Okay. So now we can compare what they look like and let's fold this back in. They look almost exactly the same. It's just that this has a yellow type of rolling scheme. Whereas this looks a lot more interesting, the sugar beet machine. I like it. The black. Looks very clean and slick. Even though probably the backside really doesn't, like the tractor. Alright. That's enough of me perving at a machine. That's enough of that. Okay, you're all done. Fantastic. Took you a damn time, but I'll lower you as well. Just a little bit and just do these little sections. Right, good enough. Off we go. Off to the far field. So I can get some new riches. And of course he'll be doing his own thing lengthways. Maybe I should fold this up. Just for you purists out there. That want me to do this as realistically as possible. I probably should... Uh, see, we could pay off our debt, but there's really no point. Like, whatever. Hmm. Should we start over here or should we do... No, let's do this area. Because we can't even um, bail that area because there's a lot of that area that is completely withered. We left it a bit too late. And off we go. Hmm. Okay, we must have some guys that are doing absolutely nothing. Like this guy. Where, where are our other tractors? This guy, there we go. This guy's doing absolutely nothing. So what I'll do is I'll buy this for 7.8 meters. What's the difference? The Tiger MT is able to evenly work in huge quantities of straw and stemmed crop residue. Okay, that's got something to do with... Okay, so it like gets rid of the straw or what? Or maybe it leaves the straw. Ah, I think that's what it does. I think it leaves the straw so you can... Okay, that's actually quite decent. That's what we need right now, actually. Let's buy that. If, if it is what I think it is, there's always a uh, risk element to buying this stuff because you never really know until you try it out. Thankfully, we've got our bail on automatically. So, if this is the cultivator that I'm thinking that it is, I do know there was a cultivator in the previous versions. There's a bit of shadow glitching. There's a cultivator in the previous game that uh, we could actually drive over cut uh, straw or hay, whatever, like long stems, like what the game says, and uh, it would still leave it there. Whereas other cultivators just uh, go over it and it's disappeared forever. Whereas right now we want to continue bailing. So maybe this could be the uh, savior to all our problems. Let's go and unfold it. Let's give it a try. Bit of a test run, eh? Over here, how do we lower it? Press V. Just like every vehicle. Oh no, you right over it. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a shame. It seems like you can go... Oh no. Still cruise control level 2. I do wonder why it costs so much though. 
There must be a reason. I just guess that we haven't figured it out. So let's hire this guy to do his thing. Uh, potato, oh, sugar beet guy is doing quite decently. So many vehicles now. It'd be nice if you could group them or something. So like you could just go to a group so you didn't have to tab through every vehicle that you had. So back to bailing in first person mode. Which is the best way to do it. I wonder what that guy's going to do with all the bales in the way. He's going oh, to drive over him or what? We'll have to wait and see. But I do love my damn bales. Don't anything to happen to my precious babies. It is a rather nice dusk as well. We've got a bit of a pink sky happening here. Nothing better than a pink pink sky I must say, pink clouds one of the joys of life it is pretty amazing like it's always in Australia at least where I live uh, we get some really nice pinkish skies in spring so right now where we are at least where I live in Sydney is we get some really nice like, like vibrant colors during the uh, sunset and then pretty much for the rest of the year it's just like pretty much normal Yeah, so what is he doing? He seems to have stopped. Let's just go check up on him. Why would he have stopped there, wise sir? Because I have already driven over here with my cultivator. Okay, you keep doing your thing. And you keep doing your thing. Let's check. For some sewers, is there anything else that we could get to like possibly make us sew that much quicker? No. Nothing. They're all duds. Six meters. What is this? And then we go down to three meters. Six meters. How much is that? 2.1 meters. That is what we started off with. Nostalgia overload. We're pretty. Piss week. Um, no, we don't want fertilizers. No, I don't want this. I just want to look through all the stuff. That looks nice. A Gilbert Helios 15. It's a manure spreader. Crane began. Another thing that I do want to buy. Already got one of these. Bailing stuff. Already got all that. Oh yeah, some of you guys wanted to see this, the header trailer. So all you do is you put your treader there, your header, not your treader, but your header. Uh, you carry it and you put it on the back of your, any type of tractor and then you carry it. So realistically, I think that uh, people, farmers, that have harvesters don't actually drive around with their headers intact on their actual harvester while they're just cruising around. To get to point A to point B, but they use a special trailer. I think that's all that that's for. Anyway, this guy's doing okay. Um, what's happening over here? You got stuck. Okay, I see what happens. How can you be so scared so far away? Really? That harvester won't hurt you. Anyway, off we go again. How's that guy doing? He seems to be doing okay. Gee, I don't really understand the whole deal that's going on with all the different uh, cultivators. Because that was only 6 meters wide and uh, it cost, well, it was the second highest uh, priced cultivator. Makes no sense if you ask me. Alright, let's keep bailing. Let's have a look at its backside. Still got a couple of rows to do. I don't think I'll do all of them. Because as I keep mentioning, straw balers don't really sell for all that much. We are losing a bit of petrol. There we go.
Yeah, so I'm going to do this, and then at the end, once we've done, until I get bored, we'll go ahead and get the auto bailer thing. I need to get find out the professional name. I could go to the shop right now, but we've already been looking at the shop for far too long already. That guy is still doing his own thing. So this guy. Okay. Let's go do the bailing. This stuff. This is, this is probably the most exciting bit for me. I absolutely love it. Yeah, you're doing a mighty fine job, this cultivator. Okay, so we've already got half of this filled, so we'll have to go back. This is just so fun, you can just go really, really quickly. What I have noticed they changed is uh, the amount of time, like, because this, the way this loads the bales up is two in a row. Once it's done the second one, there's a bit of a delay before you can get the next bale. So right now, I can't get a bale right now. I've got to wait, 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 wait. And only now. I can't remember that being the case for 2011. You could just, like, spam it and just do all these so quickly. Our tractor's losing a lot of petrol as well. Let's go to the statistics. Uh, statistics, go to petrol, check out our petrol usage. Like, wh when you see it drive, you can just see the petrol move up fuel usage. It chows up a lot. Oh, okay, we're all done. So, just to make it all that much more realistic, let's put on the transporting position. There we go. I'll get some fuel on the way as well. The lonely rooster. He had such a fun time with all its mates. Not anymore, bastard. Not anymore. Okay, so this is the way I do it. I press 0 to or O to start unloading the bales right now. And by the time we reverse in, it'll be all ready for us. I guess I left some bales before here. I wonder how this will work out, if everything will go through perfectly. Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so we've got some glitching on the roof. Because I'm doing everything. Hey, that's what we're talking about. And the game lags up, for good measure. Must have been processing that way too hard. Anyway, that's... I would call that an abstract painting. Look at the uh, uniqueness of the hay bales on the shed. Symbolizing the hard work of the farmer. How long have we played? 61 hours so far. That, that is very commendable, I must say. 60 hours in less than a month. Wow. Imagine if I played like COD all that time. Be probably like one of the highest level guys out there. I guess maybe not, but. Then again, this does include like the amount of time that you do tab out of it. So I do alt tab a lot. Oh, now we've got to turn this on. Yeah, so it, you still play when you alt tab it because every one of your hired workers still do their own thing, but. That's it. Okay. Yeah, it seems like if we go lengthways, the AI doesn't really have a problem uh, with stopping because once we did it like widthsways, they used to stop at certain points, like over here on the left. I'll show you guys. The field stops over here. So sometimes the work would just like stop over here and he wouldn't realize that there's a whole nother section of field. So that would suck. What is with this connection? Not connection, but lag. Oh no, don't tell me you're lagging up on me real good. No. No, 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 no. I don't want to be back. There we go. I really don't like ending this because then the uh, fraps recording in the... Audacity recording get out of sync. 
because I do want you guys to hear me and if I record in Fraps he only has one channel I know there's DX story but I don't know I'm afraid of change not really just I don't I, don't, I think you have to pay for DX story and there's a lot to learn with it of course there's always pirate bay which is pretty much how everyone on YouTube starts absolutely everyone I know has uh, that uses Sony Vegas as pirate edit and then once you get a bit more successful you pay for it that's pretty much how YouTube works good old and there's a few people that actually admit to it. I know um, Woody's Gamertag admitted to it. Because when you start out on YouTube, you're not really sure how things are going to go. And Yeah. Oh, and if anyone is wondering, I you do use Fraps and Sony Vegas to edit the videos down. Yeah, they seem to be doing good. Although they do write over the hay. But apart from that, I don't really have a problem with either of the uh, cultivators. Okay, well, enough of me perving them on them. Let's go this person mode. We'll go ahead and deliver this, and I'm really, really looking forward to growing out my sugar beets, but it's taking us a while. Oh, are you stuck? Oh, I think our sugar beet guy is stuck. No. Very good. Very, very good. So that's field one, as well as the little extra section of field that was in between the fields. Then we've got the rest of this small field over here. And we're done pretty quick. I really do look forward to what the sugar beets will grow out to. What we'll do is when we end this episode we'll come back with the next episode but it'll be probably in the exact same place so we can see what the plants grow out to i'm also tempted to buy another sugar beet planter just to make things so much quicker because this is going to take forever uh, so where are we where are we there we go sorry so much clicking. 58,000. Oh, that's close. No cigar. All right, what about if we go and deliver our hay bales? Or our straw bales? Same thing. At least to me they are. Let's push a couple of them in. Yeah, that's 56,000. Okay, that's promising. How are we going to get that? They're like stuck halfway between the house. Oh, funny stuff. Yes, yeah, so it's already inside. All you have to do is unload it, and then you get all the money for it. So we're at 56,000. There we go. Beautiful. Let's do it. Do these quick smarts. Just enough money. Very nice. Very nice. Sneaky. Very sneaky. Okay. So. Oh, no, we don't want to go here. We want to go to here. Let's actually drive to the shop. It's been a while since we've driven there. And actually picked up one of our things that we've bought. So I'm going to do that. Do it the legitimate way. Our money's going to go down pretty quickly though. Especially with... Uh, maybe we should... Should we hire? No. Okay, so what I'll do is... I'll hire this worker. And I won't fill up this... Uh, cedar because when you hire a worker you don't need to fill up your cedar he automatically fill, uses his own cedar and, and his own fuel as well and uh, then on this field I'll go ahead and do that myself and we'll go for about 45 minutes we'll record for about 45 minutes I'm not exactly sure why the frame rate's a bit choppier than user, usual but just in certain places when I look over there it's smooth as hell when I'm over here, it's a bit slower. Interesting. Maybe you guys don't notice until I tell you, though. Which is probably the case. I'm just digging my own grave. Yeah, so there's a bit of this, like, left over, but I'm not 
too fussed about all that stuff. Uh, do this. I just like to start them off on the edge just because that way we can cover everything for sure. Okay, good job. And go back to this guy, he's doing also a good job cultivating away. He's doing it quite quickly, nine miles an hour. What about the other guy? He's doing it at about eight miles an hour, okay. And they're doing a fair amount. So let's go back to him. Wendell turn around, I will start controlling him. So as you can see, we do have all these seeds, but because we have hired a worker, he's not doing anything uh, with the seeds that I own. He's using his own seeds. So that's the reason behind why. Sometimes you don't even need to fill up your cedar and plants will still go. Okay. So let's turn it on. Do we have everything on? Yep. Wow, this seeds really quickly as well. 15 miles an hour. Very nice. And I was going to say that this cedar barely contains like any volume for it, for seeds. But the seeds are going down quite slowly. So whatever. And we want to do this half realistic, so we're going to lift this up, slow down. So much work to do when you do this like realistically. We go turn on the ridge marker on that side. Let's get rid of the UI or the PDA. Turn this on. Yeah, we're well and truly covering everything. Turn the lights on on this thing. There we go. All those puppies. Wow, that's those are some bright lights. That looks nice. Okay. Well, at least we're doing this legitimately for once because yeah we've always hired workers to do this for us especially with the schluter schlufer sorry it happens also much more quickly I wonder what all those like play and like go back and go forward buttons do must be something to do with like the hydraulic systems like to attach stuff to the back and the front, oh, just to the back. Oh, we're lagging up. Yeah, so there's a reason why I hire workers instead of doing all this by myself. It does get pretty repetitive and you do want to do, I'd do other things, but when there's nothing else to do, I guess you have to resort to this. Let's hire this worker again. I hate how the hired worker goes his own pace. 10 miles an hour, really? Oh, no, I don't want that. I want to check up on how the other worker's gone. Okay, you seem to be getting everything. You missed a bit there. Okay. Not going to complain too much. You're also doing a good job. This is going to be the first time you go onto the other side of the field. Or is that just the road after that? No, I think the field stops and there's a road. Yep. Okay. See, and as you can see, we're down, we don't have any seeds, but believe me, there will be sugar beets growing over here on this field. But once I get that done on the other field... Oh, what's happening here? 
Okay, how do we mitigate this problem? Well, firstly, I should put things back into the garage. Into, or into... I think I need to press H. There you go. Yeah, so I should... Like... It's just too much time and effort just to try to put your things away. But uh, I'll put it back here. And you know what I'll do? I'm thinking... Oh, God. Lag, lag everywhere. What I'll do... It's because I'm recording so much for you guys. That is the problem. Oh, well, we are done goof now. Where's the problem? God damn it. Good old press escape menu. And now it works perfectly. It's because I'm recording so much. What I'll do next episode is I'll spawn all of my vehicles using this menu, like the vehicle selection. I'll put them all back into the... Like, into this area. So we can have a check and see how many things we just have. I think that'd be quite cool to see myself personally. Okay, so our cultivators are also about to meet, which is very good. That means we're done cultivating. Almost. You're never really done until it's well and truly done, though. This guy still has a little bit to do. And once he's done, he'll go on to the other field and work over there. Uh, meanwhile, I'll need to go and get another tractor. I'm sure I've got to have another tractor somewhere lying about. Where are they? Oh, well, these guys will finish, though. Yeah, so once these guys will finish, I'll go ahead and uh, fill up my fertilizer. That's something else that I need to do, and just fertilize all of this so we get a really good yield. We don't want nothing crappy, we want to know like the full extent of the yield that you can get. But you can also plow your fields for an extra yield before you cultivate, but that is just going to take us forever. Maybe we should try it once. But I think it's just too much effort for the monetary benefit that you get. What I'll do is I'll make sure this guy go is going on his last row. Because that guy's a lot faster, and then you just finish it up. Although you left, we did leave a little bit of a line, but that's okay with me. It's not going to be bothering me too much. If you're really bothered, you could probably like carve something out with all these uh, hay lines, like some message. If you were really truly bothered, see how these guys are going to do. Because there's going to be a little bit of an area left over, which is cool with me. No. Lift, no, no, no. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. There we go. Press X. Actually, you know what? Let's do this area now. you got to love how it's cultivating, but it's still not on the ground yet. Ah, funny stuff. Alright. So I'll just do that little extra line that we missed out on while we're coming back to the home stretch. And I'll get some fertilizer and we'll start fertilizing the fields as well. As I saw him gone. Where is he? Is he all the way over there? There he is. See, I've been doing all of this real time, so we've played about 40 minutes in game time and in real time as well, so not much has been happening apart from just the usual. Nothing has really grown. As no, you're doing okay. There we go. Oh, you still have a fair bit to do. It seems like it's not taking him that long, but it is. It's taking... We told him to start off pretty much at the start of the episode, so it's taking him at least 35 or so minutes. So you, now you have an idea of just how large these fields are, just how long it takes us. It's pretty crazy. We have uh, both our Grimmy tractors, our Maxtron, and uh, what else is the other one called? The Tektron. Okay, Grimmy Tektron 415, and this is the 600 edition, isn't it? Or oh, 620, even better than the 600 edition. I guess it's speed limited to 25 kilometers an hour. All this grass over here, look how beautiful and lush it is. 
such a shame for it to all go to waste. We have no cows here. How's the cow shit gone? Well, this is the cow liquid shit, because we haven't really given them what they need for real man shit. Okay, you're all done. Very good. Let's hold it up. And go get our fertilizer, and uh, I think I'll need to fill up my fertilizer firstly. Almost 100% sure that's what I'll need to do. I think the real question here is where is the fertilizer? There it is. Wasn't that far away now, was it? I reckon it'll only be about 20% past. Oh, it's really it's empty? I can't remember emptying it out. But okay. Let's fill it up. Oh, we can actually go into debt? Really? I thought you could only like hire your way into debt. I don't know. We are well and truly in debt. We'll make that money back pretty quickly. I don't think you can actually lose for being like... I don't think there's an amount where you lose. But just in case, let's just say, save it right now. Just in case something bad happens. <laughs> like we'll lose the actual let's play, but I don't think you can. And start opening it once we go in between these buildings. Oh no, sorry, wrong button. I gotta love the map with no trees on it. So much better. And hopefully you guys love this a little bit more than you did your agricultural oh, agricultural simulator 2013. I was kind of disappointed. Like I said, I, as I mentioned last episode, I didn't think that you guys would be uh, that negative about it. But well, what can I do? Anyway, keep driving. Keep fertilizing this. But it does have some neat effects. I will probably go ahead and do some different videos of uh, Agricultural Simulator. Not a Let's Play probably, but just some things showing you how it works. There are some neat effects, like very realistic ones that look very good. I like the fertilizing. It's always interesting to see how different games take different aspects and create them into a game. It's kind of neat and cool. Can we go? How fast can this go? Okay. It can go past the speed limit. Oh, that guy's done. All the way over there. So, you know what? I will go ahead and end this episode now. I'll, I'll obviously continually fertilize this, but uh, we'll be back pretty much exactly the same spot with everything fertilized, everything is sown, and then and then and only then I'll speed up time so I can go ahead and watch the sugar beets grow throughout all their stages because I'm as interested as hopefully all of you guys are because I don't know how sugar beets are going to end up growing and I don't think they'll be anywhere near as abundant and dense as the potatoes but nevertheless I look forward to it very much so until then hopefully you guys stay safe and I'll see you later tomorrow